So this video is probably not going to be very interesting for most viewers of my channel. So if you're expecting something interesting, there's probably other videos out there to watch. However, I'm going to demonstrate how I made a belt clip for my Tascam DR40X recorder. And that's because I've been looking for this and trying to find people on YouTube and how they would do it. And there's not that much out there, but I finally figured out quite a good and affordable option. So I thought I'd show it in case other people are looking for it. So yeah, I use this Tascam DR40X recorder to record my audio. I did a video about this previously, I'll put a wee link, link in somewhere. And I really like it. But sometimes I want to film in front of the camera and I don't want to have this really sitting in a pocket because it's a bit bulky and it'll show from the front. I'd rather clip it onto my belt at the back so I can hide it. But there wasn't really many decent belt clip options. In fact, I couldn't really find any for the DR40X in particular. And for other recorders, there's maybe some options, but they're all really expensive or they're like pouches that you slip the recorder in or whatever. Whereas I just wanted something really simple like this. And it turns out you can actually make this really simply for about five pounds using a few different very simple off the shelf components. You just have to know what you're looking for. And these components generally have sort of weird names that don't really come up when you're searching for them. But it gives me a belt clip. So what I'll do is I'll jump in, show all the parts I've used, and show how to make one of these. So now here we have all the parts that you need. First of all, you need this little metal clip here. And this is the bit that I found the hardest to find, and that's why I'm making this video, because these things are not called anything sensible. I was looking up metal belt clip, metal clip, metal belt loop, nothing was bringing these up. What this is actually called, at least according to eBay, is Metal Holster Sheath Belt Clip 54 by 25 millimeter Clasp Spring Hook Buckle Double Holes UK. Yeah, it's one of those listings. But generally if you search for like metal holster clip, they kind of come up. I'll put a link in the description for an eBay search that'll hopefully bring some of these up. And turns out that what this is actually designed for is like leather work. So it actually appears on eBay in like the leather working category. And it's designed to think if you're like making a wallet or, or a holster for something, you can rivet this onto it. And you can tell that because it actually comes with some rivets to rivet it through leather. Obviously we're not going to use those, but that's what this is designed for. But it works perfectly for this job. This is only about £1.99 for two, so they're not that expensive at all. Next up you'll need a way to fit it into the recorder. Now I'm just going to use a tripod screw in the bottom of the recorder there. This is technically I think a quarter inch screw, but in the UK we use metric for screws so it's quite hard to find. So I end up getting this, which is just listed on eBay as like a camera tripod screw. So if you just search for that, these things will come up. There's loads of different styles, but these are pretty easy to get and they're only again one or two pound. And then that'll screw through this into the recorder. And finally, I've just got a little rubber o-ring washer thing, which you may or may not need depending on the length of your screw. But I would probably recommend using one of these and I'll show why in a second. This is just a little standard washer. It's maybe about 10 mil wide. Nothing fancy at all. I just had this lying around already. So maybe a little rubber washer would be handy as well. So let's take a look at what we need to do. So really all we need to do is we've got these two holes here, but as you can see, they're designed for these rivets and they're there for too small for this screw to go through. So all I need to do is quickly go off camera and widen this hole to a six mil hole for the tripod screw to fit, to fit through. Okay, so that's now after widening the hole. I just drilled a six mil hole through that. It's a quarter inch screw, the tripod thread, but obviously we use metric here, so the whole 6mm and that's about the right size. I don't know what you do in the US, I don't know if you if they use imperial drill bits, but just yeah, a hole big enough for that basically. Wind it out. You could do the bottom one as well, but for me I felt that that was going to be better having it lower on the recorder rather than having it higher up and having the sort of the top of the clip sort of sinking into that dip on the back of the recorder. But yeah, wind that hole and that'll do the job. Now all we need to do is try and get this screw inside here which will be a bit tricky because it's wider than the slot so I'll need to try and like bend it open and then screw it in which is going to be a bit tricky because it's quite, it's really springy. So let's see what I can do here. Right, I'm going to jam, throw it across. Right, I'm going to try and jam a remote control in here just to hold it wider because it's going to totally snap my finger if I don't do that. And then in theory, if I can just get this in here, Nope, oh, ow, it's that finger. <laughs> Duh. It's like a mouse trap, but there we go. Get that there, up there. That's it, actually that's level, that's good. Stick that in there just to widen it out. And then screw it through. Unfortunately it's too narrow to really use a little handle thing, but there we go, pull that out. And that's it. And the other benefit with this, <laughs> you know, this totally bodge design is actually really good is that the screw is now almost captive in there, it won't come out, so this is now one single piece. 
Now we can put it on the recorder. So, go to the recorder here, and if you look on the bottom of the tripod screw. Now, this is where that washer comes in handy. With the particular screw I've got, it's too deep. So if I were to screw this down, the screw bottom is out there, but this still rattles around because it's obviously designed for a much thicker bit of metal rather than this thin piece. So that's what I've got this little washer for. All I need to do is remove it again, put the little washer in place, and then screw it down again. And then the other benefit of this as well, actually, is that you're now not going to scratch the recorder. You've not got the metal sitting above the recorder, so it's not going to scratch. And I also feel like having that washer in there, because the washer's actually almost compressed, it's got quite a lot of pressure on it, it gives quite good friction. So while this does rotate, if you force it, it doesn't rattle around. And it just sits like that. And what that now gives you is a perfect belt clip. So with the washer, you need to be a little bit careful because it would be quite easy to like accidentally slip your belt under this piece here rather than into the clip. But as long as you're careful, you can just slide your belt and slide that onto a belt, and it'll work really well. The only thing I would bear in mind is that this screw is a reasonably rough head. It's not too bad, but I maybe wouldn't wear this with like your most expensive prized belt because this might cause a bit of like abrasion on it. So if you're worried, you might want to put a bit of tape or something over that to protect it, or just don't use this with like super expensive belts. But this does work pretty well. So what you're now seeing is just a video of me using this in a previous video that you might have seen with this attached to my belt, with also with the microphone attached onto the side of it, and it worked absolutely perfectly. So yeah, there you go. That's my method on how to make a belt clip for the Tascam DR40X recorder, and probably lots of other PCM recorders as well. I do apologise for the extremely boring video for most people, I've got a lot more exciting ones coming, but I thought I'd throw this out as a little extra video, just because I know that I was looking for this, and there wasn't really any other options. I think I found one other video that, looked, that showed how to make one for this, but it was clearly like from a sort of leatherwork YouTube channel, so the guy was doing very smart crafts to do it, I was making something really nice and sort of handcrafted, but I don't have that skill, I just wanted something really quick, so I thought I'd throw this video out there for people who are looking for this. So yeah, very boring video there, but there's how to make a belt clip for the Tascam DR40X recorder. And yep, I've put a couple of search, sort of eBay search links in the description to find these parts, just in case you're trying to look for them. But yep, that's all I was just doing there, and obviously stand by for much more interesting videos coming in the near future. Thanks for watching.